Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem seventy-three in chapter ten. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. And in this system, you can see on this triangle and on this top of the slope, we have a sphere, and it just from stationary moves down, moves down to the bottom, right? And there, we need to find its linear velocity and the angular velocity at this point. So what quantity is given? The first quantity is the radius for this sphere, the mass for this object, the angle theta for this triangle, and the length for this distance. Now, how can we solve the problems? Normally, when we solve these problems, we can consider the energy is conserved. Do you agree? So for this part, energy is conserved. So we can see at the initial. The this sphere, this object, is a stationary, so there is no kinetic energy. We only need to consider potential energy. We can see this on this triangle. This side is L. This angle is theta. So this side must be L sine theta. Agree? So the initial energy is mg L sine theta. Now when this ball comes to the position two, the final position, it must have the energy. Kinetic energy, potential energy is zero. So, kinetic energy includes the linear energy and is the rotational energy. Linear energy one half m v square, rotational energy one half i omega square. Now we can check our textbook to find the momentum of inertia for this sphere, this one, and then the relationship between linear velocity and angular velocity is this one. We can input the i and the omega inside in this function, inside this function. Then we can simplify the function. This equation equals to this two. Solve the velocity v. We get the v equal to this function, right? And this function inside we can see l is given, theta is given. So we can solve this equation, get the final answer there. And also we can consider this function, right? That is a Angular velocity is v divided by r naught. The second one asks us to find the ratio uh, of uh, the translational to rotational kinetic energy. That is easy because the translation energy is linear energy one half m v square. Rotational energy is one half i omega square. We input what we get in previous right. The i is this one. Omega is this one. So you, when you solve this, you get the ratio is a constant, five over two. The next one asks you, um, is this ratio depends on the radius of the sphere or mass? Prob of course, no, because we can see the mass and the radius are cancelled, right? So it is just a constant, five over two. Thank you.